Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to be continuing now uh, with a colouring chat with Kelly Horton's um, Little Darklings. Um, just a quick disclaimer that this is an adult colouring channel and the videos are not made for or intended for children in any way, shape or form. So this won't be a long video. We are just going to be finishing off uh, this uh, picture from the Darklings book. We're going to be using... Um, some pencils we're going to be using polychromos today and some um gel pens uh, we're going to be using the sakura jelly rolls as well so i'm just going to put a bit of a point on this it's got a bit of a point on it so it's not going to need much okay so let's get started um yeah so I'm using the jelly rolls. We're just going to do some skin first, and I've got the cinnamon here. Um, so if I just do that, we're just just going to give her a bit of shading on her hair. I like this. This is um, just want to say hello to any new subscribers. Thank you for joining me, and thank you for all you subscribers like um, who have been coming to watch. The channel been a follower for a while you are all very welcome and you are all very very much appreciated thank you so much it's just one of those things that you know you get subscribers and I do try and respond to all of your comments but I do find that sometimes they don't actually appear on the phone and I tend to do all the stuff on the phone rather than on the computer uh, every now and again I will go onto the computer and check them though because I, I do find that I just don't get them all on the um, the phone for some reason they don't all show up but they do on the computer so if for any reason I don't respond straight away and it might take a while it is because they're not showing up on the comp on the phone app but they might show up on the computer when I go on the computer and I will then respond so I hope everybody is staying safe. I don't know what it's like where you guys are in the world. We are actually here, still in lockdown, which is not nice, but it is what it is, and we do have to deal with it. Um, cases are on the rise again in, in the borough for some reason. I'm not sure why. Um, I've not been going anywhere, so... I've just been going to the shops and taking Jennifer to places like the park to play in the fresh air and things like that so it's just a matter of trying to keep yourself as safe as you can and I hope you are all doing that I'm sure you are um I do suffer from chronic asthma so I am at risk of respiratory illness as it is last year uh 2019 um was my first year back after having Jennifer at work and I had five five chest infections last year which required luckily it didn't require hospital treatment but I did have to um, have antibiotics and steroids so all I'm going to say is I am I am extra careful um, even though I'm asthmatic I do wear a mask when I go out I don't have a problem with it I don't find it an issue at all it doesn't make me wheeze I found it disconcerted the first time it was a bit weird but that's just because I wasn't used to it but now I've been wearing them um, when I go into shops more I'm finding it a little bit easier it's not so so bad to be honest so yeah I, I'm, I'm getting on all right with the mask situation so that's good I know some people can't wear them and that's fine I went in the post office today drop some post off and pay some cash in to my bank account because we can do that at post office here um, and uh, the couple in front of me two young youngsters teenagers weren't wearing masks now for all I know it could have been one of them was slightly hard of hearing might be suffering from some sort of illness it's not my place to judge them you know um if you can wear a mask wear a mask if you can't you can't that's fine too I know that the cashier behind the till, I, I think one of them might have had a hearing problem because she said, oh, I can put my, my safety back on now, put her mask back on. So 
I'm assuming that one of them had slightly hearing problems so that she had to take it off so they could read her lips so I, I don't know for sure but I would uh, would think would think so that's the only reason I could think why she would have she would have personally had to have taken her mask off so just evening out skin tone a bit with this light flesh as they call it, it used to be called it's called something else now I'm not sure what it's called now there we go it's a bit better I don't like that one I do like that one though so yeah I mean what have we been doing over the last couple of days we've been we've been to the park um what did we do yesterday Friday yesterday wasn't that we did a quiz yesterday we were kind of sorting things out yesterday I can't really remember it, it's just like it all blurs into one after a while um when you're on annual leave I spent all of yesterday thinking it was Saturday thinking oh god Paul's gonna go back to work day after tomorrow and it was Friday so He's still, you know, he's not happy he's got to go back to work as it is. Who is? Who's ever happy that they've got to go back to work after a holiday? I don't think anybody is, or I don't know anybody who is. But, I mean, I go back on Tuesday because I get more annual leave than Paul at the moment. And I bought extra days because um, although we get so many days of paid special leave for child care issues, so if she's sick and I can't work... You know, we, we do get time off for that. We get so many days. I bought an extra week's holiday just in case. Because last year I used up all my special leave. And this year, to be honest, very quickly. Um, with her being sick in the car. She was car sick quite a bit last year. And she started doing it again since lockdown. Because, of course, we're not using the car as much. Um, fortunately, though, it's not as bad now. She's, you know, uh, she's in a new nursery. So we're not... It's not as far to travel, but she's going to have to get used to it. Um, we took the car out for a run the other day, and she was fine. She starts coughing, and you know when she starts that, she's going to be sick. She'll start saying, down please, and then she starts coughing, and you, you just know that she's going to start being sick then, which isn't, it isn't nice for her, especially in the car. Not very nice for me to clear up either but luckily she wasn't and on the way back from where we'd been she went she just fell asleep which was good good which was much better um so yeah so she's good as gold really you can't see what i'm doing i'm up here on her face now just giving her a bit of pink blush on her cheeks Yeah, I quite like the polychromos over the the pen. A bit better than I like the Prismas, but that's just at the moment. It might change the more I work with the Prismas on there. I don't know why. Maybe it's because you have to do lots of light layers with the polys, and... I don't know. Is there something about it? So I've got Monday off, like I said, I go back on Tuesday, Paul goes back Monday. Um, Monday's going to be for working on eBay and uh, that sort of thing there. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a um, busy day Monday morning. I've got to try and draft some stuff before I actually <clears throat> do the Monday work. I'm just... Uh, going to give her eyes a little bit of extra work on it. do some eBay so even though I've not been listing because I've been on holiday last year I've been pro I have been um, 
I do in my post, I've been posting stuff, um, but I haven't been listing. And I've still had a few sales, so I'm happy with that. So, just give her a bit of... So... Yeah, we've been... It's been a nice week, I'm going to say that. I've had a very nice week off. And... I wish it was longer. I wish we'd been able to get away, because that would have been amazing. But it is what it is, and we will go away as soon as we can. I mean, it's more important that we get it sorted so that we can get some sort of system in place for Christmas. Because let's be honest, Paul's mum lives on her own, and I don't want her being on her own Christmas day. And, and she normally comes to us, and we normally have a big dinner, the, the, the four of us. What we did last year, obviously, with Jennifer, me, her, and Paul and Jen. And, um, you know, because my parents, even if Chris doesn't come home, they've got each other. They're not going to be alone. Whereas Paul's poor mum is on her own. And it's not nice. And it's all right to say you've got to keep safe. You've got to stay away from other people. But loneliness can kill too. Loneliness is a killer. And uh, she is moving next week, so she's moving to Newport from Cardiff, which is still a different borough, but it is not so far. And as she's elderly on and on her own, we may be able to get away with it as a caring thing. But of course, Paul doesn't drive, which means he either has to catch a bus or I have to drive him, which means we have to take Jennifer. But, uh... But that's just the way it is, that's life and we need to look after each other as much as we can without making each other ill and it is hard. It's a very hard situation that we're in at the moment. So we just got to do our best and try and keep each other safe. So, we just carry on with this. I do a bit in her hair now just to... even it out a little bit so yeah I'm you know but I mean I'm enjoying it I like being at home it's easier for me there's no driving to the office in traffic I I don't enjoy that at all I don't think there's many people that do I like driving I quite enjoy driving I just don't like driving in busy traffic when you know and the amount of time I've seen people in, on their phones and I've got Jennifer in the car and I'm like, really? You're on your phone? And they're behind me creeping up on me and I'm thinking, if you hit me, I swear to God, I'm going to get out there and I'm going to kill you. Well, actually, I'm thinking I'm going to shove that phone so far up your ass. <laughs> As most mothers, I am very protective of my little one. <laughs> So, yes, yeah, it's, it's not easy. I don't like the... I love driving, but I do not like the traffic. But generally, if it's a quiet day and I'm I'm on my own in the car, I just happily drive around for hours. Yeah. We don't drive far in the UK like you guys in the States, you know. We have to drive 100 miles and we think it's going to take forever. It's like, it's only... From where we live, it's only 145 miles just over, maybe 150 miles to London, which isn't that far, 
by this site, think, oh, I'm off to London. Oh, really? That's a long way to go, isn't it? And most people wouldn't drive it anyway because of the congestion charge, which is fair enough. Um, but I prefer to take the bus or the train to London if I'm going to go. Oh, I'm gone. All out of focus for some reason. I'm not sure why. But yeah. But yeah, so I don't. I mean, I love going to London, and once things are, are better, when Jennifer's a bit older, we'll we'll want to take her. There we are. That looks a bit better. Let's go on to the pumpkins. What colour is this? This is a darker orangey colour. Sanguine. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's all, it's all good. We're all happy, that's the main thing. I mean, I don't want to go back to work. I'd rather just do eBay, but I can't make or get enough stock to do that at the moment. I can't make enough money. I can't get enough stock because of the pandemic. It's just too, too difficult, so... I can get enough to get by on either in uh, from auctions or from eBay or from other sellers. I know that a lot of uh, sellers are thinking about buying as much as they can now because they are talking about having another lockdown um, for two weeks over the half term holiday. And for most resellers, it's their busiest time of year because it's Christmas, it's quarter four. Now for me I just send, sell a bit of everything so sometimes I've got toys and games, sometimes I've got computer games, sometimes I've got clothing and shoes and jumpers but clothing and jumpers does tend to die off a little bit over the winter months. We still do sell clothes, I do, but uh, it does die off a little bit but as long as I'm making money and not losing money I don't really care at the moment. I haven't been to a car boot sale this year because there hasn't been any running in my area. And I do get stock from car boot sales and I have done in the past. I never find anything on Facebook Marketplace. I know a lot of people can, but in my area they're charging eBay prices, so... It's like you might as well just sell it on eBay, mate. But I can understand why people don't want to. So... But, uh... Yeah. Okay. Oh, that looks better, doesn't it? His eyes looks much better with that orange pencil on it. A little bit. So, I'm currently reading, what am I reading? Jack the Ripper, a 21st century investigation by Trevor Marriott. Who, like a lot of Ripperologists, worked for the police force. Not all, but there are a lot. So, makes it a little bit more interesting because he can eat. He's actually reproducing the coroner's information from the coroner's court. A lot of the books don't actually include that and I'm liking the fact that that is in there. So, but yeah. I'm liking this, right? I'm, I'm pretty much done with that now. I'm sure I could do more and make it look uh, a little bit more. prettier but uh, we'll be here all night if I do. So we're going to go on to the jelly rolls and we're going to use the metallic silver 
for the candlesticks and for her jewellery and then we will be putting some other bits on as well just to make it a little bit prettier because yeah I might put some stars on the background or something like that so I don't very often use these because they were quite expensive So this is the first time I've actually used them since we did the first impressions video. those there is a gold one as well I might use that as well I'm just looking at them So I'm trying not to buy any more colouring books now. I've bought a few this month. I've bought enough. I don't need any more. I've got so many to work in that I, I just... Yeah, we'll have a blue metallic one as well. We have all different colours, can't we, candlestick holders? It doesn't have to all be silver. I love that colour blue. I think it's beautiful. Um, yeah, I... Uh, I've got so many. I've got two more Jade Summer come in, and I might buy the Relax With Art one. I've got a couple of their books and I'm working in one of those books now as well. Uh, I think it's last year's. It's got a witch on the cover and I'm doing that picture. I've started it and I'm using the Black Widows for that. I've just done her skin at the moment. But uh, yeah, it's a nice picture. I thought I'll do that one. So. But you know what it's like, you start doing things. I've got, I got. I always start the month with like seven or eight on a go. And I'm not that bad yet actually at the moment, so. Fortunately, the Colour in Heaven magazine Zodiac special, though it's not technically Halloween, I could still do it because it's kind of Halloween related. Kind of. Not, not really, but... I haven't done it yet. I haven't started one now. I'm going to. They, they've got an admin challenge which is to colour your own star sign in the colours of that star sign. So as a water sign that would be blue, I guess. Blue, green. And as it's counts, the crab crabs can be sort of orangey coloured. So I haven't decided what to do yet. But uh, I will do it. Let's just do her jewellery so we're not... I'll do her triquetras now. Well, it's more than a triquetra actually. It's the only thing with these sorts of patterns on earrings is they're so big. The lines get all muddled. They are nice though. I like those. There, that one's all right. Yeah, this is the triquetra. From if you saw it, you would know it is the symbol from Charm, the TV series. There we go. I'll do the same over here now. We'll do blue first. We're going to put a little bit of glitter on. Not a lot, just a little bit on the pumpkins mainly. So give them a bit of colour. But yeah, so I've got this one which we're finishing today and then I've got the one in the Relax with Art on the go and I've got 
one in the Jade Summer Halloween Mandalas book. I think that's all I've got on the go at the moment. Other than the one I'm doing for the Lily Mache video, which is almost finished. And should hopefully be up next week. I've only just got to finish the pattern off and finish the video, so that's pretty much all I've got on the actual go. Other than things that have whips that have been on the go for a while, like the, the cute Christmas one. I do have a whip in my and I forgot to show it in my Halloween books collection. Um the Dracula comic book. The Dracula graphic calligraphic novel. I still haven't finished that, so I am going to try and pull that one down this month and finish it off. But there is a lot I want to do. I want to start my Beauty of Horror pitch. And now I've got my um, Neo Color 2 that I wanted. I'm going to need to get a complete list of all 84 swatch charts. So if any of you have a swatch chart for the Neo Colors or know where I can get one, can you just leave me a comment down below? Because I really want a swatch chart. And then I can swatch them on. I can see what colours I need and what colours there are and what, what I've got. So, because I'm not going to invest in the whole set because I'm not going to use them that often. So I don't want to spend that kind of money. So I'd rather just get the odd colour when I want it. Although it works out more expensive. I'm, I, I can't see me ever really using the full set. So, I'm not that good an artist, especially with those. I mean, if you, you look at the sky on my Kirby Razanas, it's awful. I'm hoping that this time I'm going to try something different when I do do it, and hopefully it'll work better. It's just that I'm not used to using the medium, so it needs practice. I'm going to use them again. I've only used them twice, so... Nearly finished, it won't be much longer now, so probably a little bit over 30 minutes, so it will kick off and I will have to kick it back on for a second. And that'll be it for today and then tomorrow I will film something else because I've got a few other bits to get going. I have got loads of flip throughs to share so I mean I didn't put anything up on today which is Saturday you'll see this on Sunday I didn't put anything up um even though I have got a load but that's because I uh just haven't oh well I thought I don't need to put something up every single day I can put something up tomorrow and I can put two up if necessary or I can because tomorrow, well, Sunday will be colour and chat. Monday will be the weekly vlog. I usually put up a, a, a colouring book flip through with that. I'll try and do that every week. Um, and then on Tuesday it is going to be, let me just do that, the Limache first impressions video, which will be finished because I'm going to finish that picture off tonight. Right, next. Right. We have got an orange. I am just going to put some sparkly bits. I'm not going to particularly colour in anywhere in particular. I'm just going to put some dots of sparkle pen in random places on my pumpkins so I'm just going to over it with some possibly some stickles we'll just have another one there there we go that's that one um, what else? Do we need anything else? And I'm just going to think I'm just going to go around the edge in gold glitter. I might put uh, just uh, round the border. And yeah, that's nice. Oh, this colour, this jelly roll, is the most gorgeous colour. 
sort of yellowy gold it is absolutely stunning it stopped look at it it is just gorgeous you can't really see how beautiful it is on the page on the camera but oh my god this color it really is gorgeous and we're just going to outline it like that I've enjoyed this page I really like Kelly Horton's um, pictures and I'll photograph this and put it on the Kelly Horton fan page later and on my Insta and I'll hashtag it little darklings hashtag Kelly Horton etc etc I do find it difficult now. I'm going to have to turn it all the way around. I have to put it upside down. Being left-handed, doing stuff by the, the spine like this can be very difficult. So I just think this gold is gorgeous. It is just so pretty. I actually coloured it in black there by accident, so it won't go over that properly, but that's okay. So. You will make a few mistakes, it's easy to do. But. I don't worry too much if I make a mistake, I just carry on with it and try and make the best of it and make it look as good as I possibly can. to find out what her name is. At the back are all the names of the characters so we'll find it in a minute and I'll let you know what her name is. Now I might write on, write it underneath. on the floor. Oh dear, now I can't get it. Has it gone into an awkward place? It has. There we go. That's better. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Oh, I got my handbrake stuck on the car the other night. I couldn't get it off. I had to call my mechanic friend to come out. We got the car from. It was terrible. I don't know what I'd done. I couldn't get it off. Paul couldn't get it off. We were going to drive that out. We didn't go out. We walked, went for a walk instead. And I, I, give him a, I give him a text. He said, yeah, I'll come up and have a look at it when I finish work, which he did. <laughs> he got in the car, took it off, put it back on. Today, said, yeah. I said, I don't know what was wrong with it. I just couldn't get it off. <laughs> I was having a funny five minutes of weakling moment, I think. So, that was fun. There we go. Make sure that we got all the gold in. I might check over that off camera as well. I'm just going to go to the back and see what this little lady's called. I think she looks great actually. Um, I stamp found her. Luna. Okay. So, what's that colour? Look. Get the white. And I'm just. I don't worry about it them being messed up. I'm just going to put some. Some stars. I was thinking about putting a moon, but I'm not very good at drawing. There we go. And my battery's about to die. So let's just get this dark-ish blue. And we're gonna write Luna at the bottom. We'll have a quick look before the battery dies, so. Here 
There we go. So that is Luna finished. There we go. Hope you have enjoyed this video, this colour and chat. If you have, leave me a comment down below and give it a good thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're if you're not already subscribed. Hit the notification bell and let your friends know if they're into colouring as well. And I'd welcome them here too. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.